Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys five awesome iOS 14 setups and of course details on how you can recreate these setups on your device. Now these setups are getting really, really crazy. A lot of people are posting about this and a lot of people are making some really awesome setups on their devices. So in this video, I will show you guys five of them and all the things that you need to recreate them on your device right now. All right, starting off with the first setup. Now what I've done here, I have created this wallpaper, which is split in half. On the left side here, you can see it's all black and we have like a gradient color right here on the right side where I've put my apps. So here I have put apps that only have a white icon. So it looks really, really cool. On the left side, I have three different widgets, which all are black and they look really awesome because they blend in with the side of the wallpaper that is black. On the bottom here on the dock, I have put only black icon, so that makes it look really, really cool. So what you need to create this setup, go ahead and download this wallpaper, apply the wallpaper to your device, and then go ahead and remove all the other pages. You can do that from here, just tap the dots and just remove the pages from the home screen and I only leave one page right here. Here you can put these three widgets which are all black. Of course, you have to use dark mode because some of them are white but when you enable dark mode on your iPhone, they become black. So here I have music view which is a widget for Spotify that you can get for your iPhone. I have a widget from an app called Down and I have here a weather widget. So all of these of course will be linked right down below in the description of the video. So go ahead and apply the two by twos right here on the left side. On the right side, put apps with white icons. And of course, this will be the only page on the home screen. Now, what I've noticed on these setups that people are creating is that most of them don't utilize the left side where the widget panel is. So on this setup, I have added some widgets right here. So this is from Widget Smith. It only shows the day and the current date. You can basically with Widget Smith, which is an app for your widgets, you can configure this any way you like. Go ahead and add the two by four here. Then I have the world clock widget, which is a stock from Apple. And then the batteries widget, which is also stock from Apple. And you can see how cool these looks right here. So here we have the widgets. We have the home screen here. And of course we have app library. And as easy as that, you can create this amazing setup. Again, you will have all the links, everything you need right down below in the description of the video. Now let's move on to the second setup. The second setup that I've done for this video is a setup that looks all white. It looks really, really cool and very clean. Now, what I've done here is obviously just apply a white, all white wallpaper to the device. Again, I have removed all the other pages. All I have is this page right here. Now at the top here, we have two different widgets. We have color widgets, which displays there the time and the date. And then we have a weather widget, which will display the current weather right there. And you can see they're white widgets, so they blank in with the white wallpaper. And lower here, here we have a motivational quote from an app called Motivation, which of course allows us to add widgets on the home screen. Then what I have here is four different apps which have white icons. So choose apps that only have white icons and put them there and you can see how they look really, really cool. You can see how the icons look much, much different. Now you can add another row of apps here if you want to, but I've decided to add only one. And here on the dock, I have put some colorful icons, which of course make the home screen look more and more colorful and of course, very nice. Now on the left side here, I have a few white widgets that I have added. The Google one, which is an a amazing widget and I have then here, I have this one right here from Lazy Bones and I have this one right here from Down, which is the calendar. Here you will have your activities and then this from Food Nom. So if you use that app, you can go ahead and add this or you can even add another one, which looks is white basically and you will get this like awesome look all white here. So you can see how cool this looks very, very easily can be done again. The widgets, the wallpaper, everything you need will be right down below in the description of the video. The next setup for this video is a totally dark setup, which looks really, really nice. Now to start making the setup, the first thing you will need to do is download the special wallpaper that I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. This wallpaper will remove the background from the dock and will make your device look much, much better. Now, first of all, go ahead, download the wallpaper. And when you go to set it as wallpaper, make sure you turn off zoom from here and that will make it work. And also make sure you have enabled dark mode on your device for this to look 
this good now what we have here at the top we have the batteries widget this is the stock one from apple then we have here eight apps now i've decided with the setup to use just colorful icons on the screen so they look much much better and here on the left side we have two widgets from the shortcuts app they are the two by two widgets which basically allow you to put any shortcut that you want right there on the widget now, i've decided to put here bluetooth and also wi-fi now both of these work on completely turning off bluetooth and wi-fi because if you do that from the control center that will just disconnect bluetooth and wi-fi won't turn them off so we have the shortcuts here for that now of course on the right side we have the app library and we only have one page in this setup as well on the left side i have put here some really useful widgets so we have this one from an app called training it basically shows your goal here your daily goals and how much you have achieved them and all that stuff then we have two other widgets from the app called usage now the first one will show you the ram memory of your device right here we'll see the active inactive and the free ram memory of your device and then the other one will show you the storage of your device you will see here the free used and the total storage that your device has so really really cool again with the dark mode they work really well and it makes your device look much much better so again everything that you see in the setup will be linked right down below in the description of the video so that you can go ahead and easily recreate this on your own iphone moving on to the next setup now for this one i've only used widgets on the home screen i don't have any apps here besides the apps that i have on the dock you can see at the top here we have music view which is an awesome app which will show you the songs that you're playing on spotify and then we have on the second one here photo widget now photo widget is an app that allows to add a widget on the home screen it will display here photos from your photo gallery and you can pick whichever photos you want you can pick up to 30 photos and change the interval on how fast they will change on the home screen of your device you can place only one or as many as you want and then right here on the bottom side where the wallpaper is dark i have added these two widgets one from weather widget and one from an app called down which shows the calendar and then of course we have here the current weather now on the dock here i have placed four icons which are all black and of course look much much better on this setup now of course the wallpaper here needs to be applied i will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video so it's colorful at the top then it's dark in the bottom right here which makes these widgets blend in and look much much better with this setup now on the left side here on the widgets panel i have put the google widget which of course lets me search here search using voice incognition or lens and then i have two widgets with series suggestions app so i don't have any apps here but i have my daily apps here the apps that i use the most on the series suggested widgets of course so i can have quick access to them but of course again we also have here the app library from where we can have have quick access to any of the apps so a simple setup here all we have is four different widgets on the home screen alongside with the four icons on the dock so with this widget you also have to use the dark mode in order to make the widgets look like this and blending with this wallpaper which of course makes them look much much better on the home screen of your ios 14 device and the last setup that i've created for this video is also featuring a completely black wallpaper now to apply this wallpaper all you have to do is just go to the settings app and go to the still wallpapers the stock wallpapers of your ios 14 device and right here will have the black wallpaper and just go ahead and apply it to your device now what i've done here again i only use one page here on the home screen at the top we have weather widget and then we have four icons white icons of apps right here we have the today date and of course the date right there with an app called widget smith you can go ahead and apply that of course and then we have another four apps with white icons alongside with the calendar right here from an app called down so we have three widgets and we have eight apps on the home screen so we can see all black and white here and i've put all red icons at the bottom here on the dock so that makes it look really really cool and of course the icons on the dock will pop up on the screen of your iphone running ios 14 now again here as i said i've removed all the other pages we have of course app library here for quick access to any of the apps and on the left side here i have a few useful icon uh, widgets of course we have here the one for spotify we have here the one for the weather and one from the documents app which allows you to put basically perform quick actions on the documents app so this is the weather widget and this is music view i believe the app that allows us to 
to basically see your current playing songs on Spotify directly on the widgets, which of course looks really, really awesome with the like that with the album art and all that and you also have the ability to go ahead and edit this you have a lot of things that you can do here so you can change its color you can add actions and all that show the full album art it looks really really nice and of course much much better than not having at all a spotify widget on ios 14 which hopefully would come really really soon so again for this setup as well you will find all the links that you need to create it right down below in the description of the video i'll put all the setups, setup one, setup two, setup three, setup four, setup five, and underneath them, all the links to each setup. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are five setups that I've created on my iPhone. And of course, all the instructions on how you can recreate these alongside with all the links and everything you need to recreate these on your iPhone as well. So setups on iOS 14 have been going crazy lately. I just had a video of mine trending on youtube so that, that's really amazing first time in like more than seven years that i have been running this channel so that's really really great again thank you guys for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel it really really means a lot so again everything that you need for these setups will be linked right down below in the description of the video thank you guys for watching the video don't forget to subscribe for more and leave a like in this video if you enjoyed it i will see you guys on the next one